Today we're talking all about business brands versus personal brand and which one you should be using. Basically in this video, I'm going to be going over what makes a really strong personal brand and a strong business brand on Instagram. Hi and welcome back. I'm Shannon Shipman and I help creative entrepreneurs and small businesses use social media to build a community, create an impact, and increase their revenue. Here's a good way to look at it. A business brand should always feel personal and a personal brand should always include business. You don't necessarily have to look at them as two separate accounts. We are in a time where people want to know you. They want to know your values, they wanna know your opinions, and they wanna see if they relate to you. They wanna see what makes you unique. So even if you have a business brand page, they're more than likely still gonna hop over to your personal page to take a peek at what you're doing. Let's first look at personal brands. A personal brand needs to tell a story. It should have a mission. Personal brand should also be able to tell people who you are and what you're doing in your bio. It's also gonna show your interest in things that you like to do. Personal branding needs to be understood even by people who have no idea who you are. So as soon as they land on your profile page, they need to know exactly what you're all about. Personal branding should always, always, always add value, but personal brands do not need to be over the top or even look that professional. Let's look at how you'd represent your business brand on Instagram. Your business brand should really feel almost exactly the same as your personal brand with a few minor differences. Your business brand should have a mix of personal and curated content. It should be systemized and coordinated and organized. If you are trying to get a sale or you're trying to run a promotion, it's going to be extremely systemized, planned out, thought out. In your business brand page, you're definitely gonna wanna showcase your products in the best light possible. And by best light, I mean the best way possible. Professional pictures, good pictures, reels, videos. You may wanna invest in a graphic designer or a professional photographer or somebody who knows how to use Canva. You wanna make sure that on your business brand page for Instagram, that you're clear on exactly who you're talking to you in exactly what you do. You always want to include a call to action. You want to direct them somewhere, whether it's to look at a product or go to a website link. You always want to make sure that you include a call to action or even just starting up a conversation. Another good way to use content on your business brand page is to include testimonials. You can do a reels, you can do a video, you can have video of people talking about your product or your business. You can also do a carousel of testimonials and that's just showing social proof. Even if you do not have a business, Getting started on your personal brand is a huge benefit for you, whether you're planning on opening a business or you're planning on getting any type of job. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up and smash the follow button. Be sure to click the video on the screen so you can get my powerful branding tips, and I will see you over there. You wanna say hi? <laughs> and the surprise guest.